Hello everybody, welcome back to Wow 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 Ah today I am yeah so I wasn't actually gonna post a video for this week. I just actually made peace that I'm not gonna be posting um not because of how I'm feeling but um it's just been a very hectic week and I was like ah I'll just post um next week I have quite a lot to post um i'll be posting some vlogs as well should i please comment on on the section below if nobody comments then i'll just do reels on instagram but if you'd actually like for me to do vlogs for you guys for just some of the things i get up to do let me know even if it's just one person if you watch girl or boy and you like it let me know if not, I'll just continue while I'm doing reels on Instagram. And if no one is commenting, I'll just assume it's a nah. Okay. But anyway, um, do welcome. Do welcome. <laughs> um, you are welcome to this channel. And um, I wasn't going to post. The reason I posted, I just took a shower and I was on YouTube. Um, searching for prayers for when you're feeling overwhelmed. You know, sometimes you can't pray. You feel you don't have the strength um, and you maybe don't want other people to be praying with you not that that's a real that sounds like a devil saying like a lot when people don't want to be bothering people you're never bothering people for those kind of things but anyways i always utilize youtube like when i'm really really like girl you need to pray and the praying just may not be coming out though i am communicating with god i'm technically praying but like really pray on the word of god praying on things that are going to get me up and refresh my mind and that can only be his word so what i do is i go and i search for prayers of however i'm feeling so i was feeling overwhelmed i kind of am but i think i'm getting better even my oh thank you lord oh lord the lord healed me i had a headache guys i had a headache it's gone i literally put my hand over myself and i just prayed it away it's gone thank you lord but anyways um yeah i just was inspired by i came across um Ule Tunyansumba's video and she does like a mental don't don't but a mental diary something like that but she just speaks about her mental health and i thought you know what let me also just get on this because wild is also about that it's about taking you guys to the journey and the good of it all is not the journey that is part of the journey there is you know sometimes mm, not so good like today i'm not feeling the best uh i felt you know that song that gospel song beyonce sang in that movie the fighting the temptation that i went to sleep on top of the world today the world's on top of me <laughs> that'd be me today but hey we shall overcome in jesus name so yeah as i told you guys i went to pretoria so i'm not even gonna go into that because there's a lot that's happened so i went to pretoria and rode the boat like they say it's in pretoria so i'm just gonna say pretoria i went to pretoria um had a very nice time literally so as i told you guys that i am a co-founder of a festival <laughs> so after because i took a bus also i took a bus at first i was like oh i don't want to take a bus when last did i take a bus i've just been flying but I don't know, my mind was like, hey, that's going to give you time. Because literally when I went to Joburg, when I flew, it was like two hours done off the plane, you know. And then you're in another city. So I realized that I have mini jet lags. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. But it's a thing for me where I'm just feeling disorientated. And I'm just like, hmm, how do I act now that I'm in Joburg, but I was in Cape Town just two hours ago, you know. So I think what I like about the bus, it gives you time. To be like oh we are journeying out of that space you were in and we are now entering a new space cape town your new life your other life you know get get in the gear my girl so that's what i enjoy about actually taking long trips on the bus um and i get to sleep more <laughs> because in the flight you wake up and then you're back to your life and then people thought you were on vacation and they wanted you to do things so that you get there anyways as soon as i um, got here cape town I got a call from the friend of mine who is the founder of the festival she's like girl 
we have a meeting with other people that are gonna help us with the festival please do come by i'm like girl i just i just got you she's like i know but please you might even have to sleep over blah, 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 blah. spoke to my husband my husband was not having it so the okay shop let me just go at least to the meeting and then i'll come back i'll try to be as early as i can yanke i went to the meeting very very productive meeting all of that jazz but like i have so many other things that i'm doing but this festival is like taking up all my thinking all my praying all my energy right it's not a bad thing because of the magnitude of what we're doing with the time that we have what do you think was gonna happen you know so i'm really really being stretched and today i woke up like the right side of my body like this headache on my right side just the pain and yeah i'm guessing it's stress you know and thing is <laughs> i was feeling fine this whole time until this morning and i realized when i don't have an output the stress is stored it's stored somewhere with it i'm thinking about it blah, blah, blah. and i have a gig today and i didn't even like rehearse you know what i'm saying uh, but it's cool because we know the songs and it hasn't been that long since we've performed together with it so we're just gonna have to meet today hopefully and then just go over the songs but i'm trusting we'll be fine and i also need to just go over my songs see stuff like that that had to take a back seat and i also realized because my husband and i were like having a conversation you know it was like not nice conversation where he's like you don't communicate and i'm like i know but i need help and also just dealing with the fact that i think he's also overwhelmed with some things so um it's hard in marriage when you feel like you need the someone but someone also needs you and then it's like Ugh, you know but one thing i do know now that i didn't like really know day and that is help me is dead first need your father see god doesn't want you to find comfort out of anything or anyone before him so now i know that like and also like these type of arguments that we have with my husband sometimes they be getting like uh ugly right but since i know this i know like girl you you just you just blaming the guy really you just blaming the guy um for something that you need to be speaking to your father about but i think because he's human and that's wrong of me like i'm making an idol my my husband that's so wrong god i repent lord I, i'd repent lord i I won't do it again when i do trying to be do it please convict me in my heart god and just be like Ugh. Come to me, come to me. Because you wake up and then you see someone, you're like, that someone can have pity on me. That's really how it be, guys, like to be quite honest. That someone can have pity on me. Because you know God ain't gonna have pity on you. God knows you and sees you lies. And he's gonna be like, hmm, mm -mm, that's not the thing. So, anyways, um, let me tell you guys. So that's the thing. I'm not feeling good today. I'm not feeling good, but even just speaking here speaking to you guys it's actually making me feel because i am confronting these accusations from the devil and from myself <laughs> i'm not feeling the best um, but this moment is not my day this morning is not my day right later on in the evening i might be turned up all the way up is already i'm starting to feel you know so what i do read the word pray to your father um Maybe call my husband to just like apologize. You know what I'm saying? Like just apologize. Be like, babe, you know, this is one of those situations. And though we spoke about true things in the argument, you didn't deserve that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a wife, child. I'm gonna be a good wife. I'm gonna be the apologizing wife. <laughs> my brand. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call my husband and see if I can do something nice for him. I don't know. He always likes it when I clean. I'm going to clean for him. Leave him a note. Mm, I'm going to leave him a lovely, sexy No, like a nice note. Like a lovely note. I'm going to do that for him. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then, yeah. What I need to do. Also, I think me saying the things that I need to do aloud and actually executing them. That gap is what makes me feel a bit frantic. And I've been having these excuses of why I'm not waking up at a certain time and having a routine. That stops now. That stops now. That stops now. See? The Holy Cross stops. So, yeah. I'm going to be making it a thing now. 
I'm not gonna go back to sleep when my kids go to sleep when me when my kids go to go go to crash yes so around six that's where my day begins I'm actually gonna go back to working out as I was um I think also because my life is not so predictable that it's very hard for me to get out of routine because every day it's like oh I have a performance oh I have this and then I have to just move things blah 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 right but um if it's in the morning i think it should be doable every day to wake up to pray read the word do even if it's for 30 minutes get my body moving child get it moving you know um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do that i'm 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 making this vow to you guys and also it's going to be part of my updates every time i speak to you guys every week that this week i've been you know keeping at it and even if it's three times a week three times four times a week you know please um and i've also not been attending my cell groups which is bad 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 um and i know it's excuses because the plan can always be made but i'm gonna do better guys i'm gonna do better um also there's this competition that i want to enter it's a singing competition i had my first edition yesterday for a commercial um fingers crossed on that um, as I said today, I have a gig later on. Um, I have to wrap up my audition for school. I need to actually book a slot for that. I need to do that like today. Um, I need to still finish registration for my SCD. But hey, don't be too hard on yourself. You're doing great. You're doing amazing. So now to what did we do? What did I do? I made this video <laughs> i feel like every video i'm just like i made this video guys it's really hard it's really hard to make these videos every day no matter how you're feeling no matter how you feel like oh i have nothing to say um but i think i think even my myself i'm being stretched here but i also think these are very helpful to whoever will come across them in the future or is watching them right now they're not about me um so I made this video, but also, hello, I auditioned for my first ever commercial. I hope they take me, child. In Jesus' name, I really be wanting that. I really be wanting that. Just also as a sign from God. Sign that you are doing good. You are in the right direction. I'm making provision. But hey, God, do it your way. What am I even saying? Lord, you do what you know, because you, you're the best. You're the best one. You know what I'm saying? You're the best one. But anyways, guys, um, have a great day. I hope I'll see you later on today. I've been posting the poster on my WhatsApp, on my Instagram. Maybe I should post it on Facebook. I haven't posted it on Facebook. Um, I think it's free to enter, and then you just come with your money to tip me. That's what works, you know? But yeah, I hope today is going to be a jam-packed type of event. Um, we're going to be doing some new music, very stripped down session. I'm so in love with that idea. And let me go, because I got a lot to do. I love you, but God loves you more, okay? Okay? Bye.